In the world of tanks, few vehicles have captured the imagination like the Stridsvagen 103, affectionately known as the S-Tank. What makes this tank so unique? Imagine a vehicle that abandons the traditional turret and takes a bold step into the future with a low profile, allowing it to blend seamlessly into the landscape. In a time when armored warfare was dominated by towering machines, the S-Tank emerged as a quiet yet formidable force, designed for defense and surprise. But there's more to this story than just an unusual design. Stay with us as we uncover the fascinating features and history of the Stridsvagen 103, a tank that redefined what it means to be a main battle tank. The Stridsvagen 103 was born in Sweden during the Cold War, a period marked by tension and military innovation. The designers sought to create a tank that could excel in a defensive role while minimizing its exposure to enemy fire. Unlike traditional tanks with high rotating turrets, the S-Tank had its main gun mounted directly into the hull. This innovative design not only reduced the vehicle's height but also allowed it to hide in earthen ditches, making it a challenging target for enemy forces. Imagine a soldier operating this tank. When positioned in a ditch, the SDRV-103 could use the earth as cover, only its low profile visible above the ground. This clever tactic provided an advantage in battle, allowing the crew to prepare for an ambush. The design emphasized stealth and surprise, crucial elements for any successful defense. The S-Tank was operated by a crew of just three people, a driver who also acted as the gunner, a commander, and a radio operator. This compact arrangement was revolutionary, enabling the crew to work closely together in a tight space. Picture the driver maneuvering the tank backward, still aiming the main gun at the enemy while using the rearview screen to navigate. This unique capability allowed the S-Tank to retreat quickly while maintaining its firepower, a remarkable feature in the world of armored warfare. The tank's crew was well protected, with the hull armored up to 100 millimeters thick. This sturdy construction gave them confidence as they faced threats on the battlefield. The S-Tank was not only built for defense, it also included a dozer blade at the front, allowing it to dig into the earth for further protection or to create fortifications. However, the fixed main gun design presented challenges. The entire tank had to pivot to aim at its target, a drawback compared to tanks with rotating turrets. Still, the S-Tank's designers believed that the advantages outweighed the disadvantages. They envisioned a vehicle that could surprise its enemies while providing maximum protection for its crew. Armed with a 105mm Bofors L-62 rifled gun, the S-Tank was capable of delivering powerful shots against enemy armor. It also featured two 7.62mm KSB-58 machine guns for close defense, with an optional anti-aircraft machine gun for added protection. This combination of firepower allowed the S-Tank to engage various threats effectively. The SDRV-103 was produced between 1967 and 1971, with a total of 290 units completed. Although it never saw combat, its design and capabilities drew admiration from military experts worldwide. Imagine the pride of Swedish soldiers as they stood beside this innovative tank, knowing they had a unique tool for their defense. Over the years, three major variants of the S-Tank emerged. The SDRV-103A was equipped with either a Rolls-Royce K60 diesel engine or a Boeing GT502 gas turbine, providing different power options. The SDRV-103B offered improved performance with a Caterpillar 553 series gas turbine. The final variant, the SDRV-103C, featured a powerful Detroit diesel 6V53T engine. All models used a sophisticated gas hydraulic hydropneumatic suspension system. This advanced technology allowed the tank to adapt to various terrains, ensuring smooth movement whether crossing rugged landscapes or navigating urban environments. Picture the S-Tank gliding effortlessly over bumps and dips, a testament to its engineering excellence. With a maximum speed of 31 miles per hour and a range of 240 miles, the S-Tank was well suited for the Swedish terrain. Its compact dimensions, measuring 29 feet, 6 inches in length and 12 feet in width, made it manageable for the crew to operate. This blend of speed and agility gave it an edge in defensive maneuvers. As time progressed, the Swedish army decided to retire the SDRV-103 in 1997, transitioning to the more advanced Leopard 2 MBT. The S-Tank, despite its innovative design, had served its purpose during the Cold War, paving the way for modern armored warfare strategies. Interestingly, a prototype D model was proposed in the 1990s to replace the aging SDRV-103. Although it was completed from a modified SDRV-103C, it was never adopted. 
This moment in history serves as a reminder of the relentless pursuit of innovation in military technology. Today, the legacy of the Stridswagen 103 lives on. It remains a fascinating example of how creative engineering can transform military vehicles. The S-Tank challenged conventional thinking and inspired future designs, demonstrating that sometimes, breaking the mold leads to remarkable advancements. Imagine standing beside this extraordinary tank, reflecting on its unique design and the brave crew that operated it. The S-Tank may not have seen combat, but its place in history is secured, reminding us that ingenuity and courage often come together in unexpected ways. As we explore the world of armored warfare, the story of the Stridswagen 103 teaches us valuable lessons about adaptation and innovation. It shows that sometimes, the most unconventional ideas can lead to the greatest success. The S-Tank also serves as a reminder of the importance of understanding our history. By studying vehicles like the SDRV-103, we gain insights into the evolution of military technology and strategy, helping us appreciate the sacrifices made by those who serve. Now, let's not forget the engineers and designers who brought the S-Tank to life. Their vision and creativity pushed the boundaries of what was possible in tank design, and their work continues to influence modern military vehicles. As we conclude this journey through the fascinating world of the Stridswagen 103, remember the lessons we've learned. Innovation, courage, and creativity are essential in any field, and they often lead to remarkable achievements. If you enjoyed this exploration of the Stridswagen 103 and want to dive deeper into the world of military technology, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create more engaging content. Like this video if you found it interesting, and leave a comment below to share your thoughts. What do you think about the S-Tank and its place in history? We'd love to hear from you. This story offers a detailed exploration of the Stridswagen 103, combining intriguing information with simple language and eloquent phrasing. If you need further adjustments or more information, feel free to ask.